The Bible says the Holy Spirit will teach us all truth. It will comfort us, encourage us, speak to us, speak through us. So many different roles the Holy Spirit has inside of us. But how can he do any of this? How can he comfort us or teach us or warn us or correct us if we cannot recognize his voice inside of us? And so I talk a lot about that. So today I decided to do a video on, and again, the Holy Spirit will speak to you, not just in your mind, so many different ways. But today I want to just focus on the thoughts that he sends into your mind. I want to give you three different examples and walk you through them. So you're now washing dishes or working on your car, anything. And all of a sudden you get a thought, call Mary. Let's say Mary is one of your friends. Stop and think, where did that thought come from? You weren't thinking about Mary. You were thinking about washing the dishes or working on your car. You see, so there you capture that thought and think, you know what? That could be from the Lord. So you go to the phone and you call Mary and see what's what's up with Mary. And if she, it definitely it's confirmation if she thanks you for calling her and just uh, lets you know that she needed your encouragement. Another example would be um, the second one would be here. You have a thought. You just came home from church. And you have this thought come to your mind. I cannot believe what Sally wore to church today. Such a low cut dress. How could she do that? Stop and think. Where did that thought come from? The Bible says the devil is the accuser of the brethren. He is always accusing others, especially the brethren, to each other. Because he wants strife. He doesn't want unity. So right away, capture that thought. And instead of thinking, dang, Sally, couldn't you dress better? Why don't you pray for her at that moment? Why don't you thank the Lord for her, for bringing her to church? Ask the Lord to bless her and say, Lord, you know what? I believe that she shouldn't have wore that dress. And if I'm correct, can you please let her know? We need to encourage each other and pray for each other instead of bringing each other down and attacking each other. I want to even say that about teachers. And, and if you disagree on what they're teaching, don't attack them. Speak to them in love. Show them grace and mercy. Say, you know what? I learned it this way. Let's talk about this. Where did you get your information? You know, something like that. Let's quit attacking each other. Okay, another example. Number three, you've had a really hard day and your husband is fixing to come home. And all of a sudden you have this thought when he comes home, I am going to tell him everything I went through today. Where do you think that thought come from? Why would you want to do that to your husband the moment he walks in the door from work? Why don't you just wait? And let the Holy Spirit lead you. Why don't you tell the Holy Spirit everything you've been through and ask him to help you and make a better day next day instead of stressing out your husband? Just a thought, right? Anyway, I hope this has helped you. I will continue speaking about hearing from the Lord because honestly, that is how can you have a walk with him, especially an intimate walk with him, if you cannot hear his voice.